Our world thrives on technology. Every day we wake up surrounded by devices and systems that make our lives easier, faster and more connected than ever before. From the moment we check our phones in the morning to the late night emails sent from our laptops, technology is woven into the very fabric of our existence. Smartphones connect us instantly to friends and family across continents. Computers power our businesses, driving innovation and productivity in every sector. Advanced medical devices monitor our health, diagnose illnesses, and even perform life-saving surgeries. In classrooms, technology is transforming the way we learn, making knowledge accessible to millions. But behind these marvels lies a hidden reality, one that most of us rarely consider. At the heart of our technological revolution are rare earth elements, a group of 17 chemically similar metals that are absolutely essential to modern electronics. These elements are the unsung heroes, quietly enabling the devices and systems we rely on every day. These elements, often unheard of outside scientific circles, are the invisible backbone of countless industries. Without them, the world as we know it would look very different. The production of everything from smartphones to satellites depends on their unique properties. Without rare earths, our technological prowess would, honestly, just crumble. Imagine a world where your phone can't hold a charge, your computer runs at a snail's pace, and renewable energy systems simply don't work. The absence of these elements would send shockwaves through every aspect of modern life. From the sleekest smartphone to the most powerful wind turbine, rare earths are essential components. They're found in the tiny magnets that make your phone vibrate, the batteries that power electric vehicles, and the generators that harness wind and solar energy. Their unique properties make them irreplaceable in the quest for cleaner, more efficient technology. They power our screens, store our data, and enable the miniaturization of complex electronics. Thanks to rare earths, devices have become smaller, faster, and more powerful, fitting incredible capabilities into the palm of your hand. They're the reason your laptop is thin, your TV is bright, and your headphones deliver crystal clear sound. Their magnetic properties are unmatched, making them vital for electric vehicles, high-speed trains, and even guided missiles. In defense, transportation, and energy, rare earths are at the core of innovation, enabling technologies that keep us moving, safe, and connected. The unassuming nature of rare earths belies their critical importance. They may look like ordinary rocks or powders, but their value is immense. Extracting and refining them is a complex resource-intensive process, making their supply chain both fragile and crucial. They are the unsung heroes of the modern age, silently enabling the technologies that define our lives. Every swipe, click, and tap is powered by these hidden elements, making the impossible possible and shaping the future in ways we can barely imagine. But their supply is not as abundant as their importance. In fact, rare earths are among the most strategically significant resources on the planet. Their scarcity and the difficulty of extraction mean that just a handful of countries control the majority of the world's supply. This is where the story takes a geopolitical turn, with nations vying for access and control. The control and access to these elements have become a strategic chess game on the global stage. Countries are investing billions to secure their own supplies, forging alliances, and sometimes engaging in trade wars. The future of technology, and perhaps even global stability, may depend on who holds the keys to these invisible treasures. Despite what their name might suggest, rare earth elements are not actually all that rare in the grand scheme of the earth's geology. In fact, these elements are relatively abundant, scattered throughout the planet's crust. What makes them rare is not their scarcity, but rather the difficulty in finding them in concentrations high enough to make mining economically viable. They are often hidden, blended with other minerals, and require significant effort to extract. These elements can be found in a surprising variety of locations across the globe, from remote mountain ranges to riverbeds and even in the sands of certain beaches. Geologists and mining companies spend years conducting surveys and tests searching for deposits that are rich enough to justify the complex process of extraction. The journey from raw earth to usable material is long and challenging. The real challenge, however, lies not just in finding rare earths, but in extracting and processing them efficiently. Unlike gold or copper, rare earth elements rarely form large concentrated veins. Instead, they are typically dispersed in low concentrations, mixed with a variety of other minerals. This makes their separation a highly technical, energy-intensive, and costly endeavor. 
often involving complex chemical processes and specialized equipment. The process of isolating rare earths from the surrounding material is painstaking. It requires multiple stages of crushing, grinding, and chemical treatment to tease out the valuable elements. This not only drives up costs but also raises environmental concerns, as the chemicals used can be hazardous if not managed properly. There are 17 rare earth elements in total, each with its own unique set of properties. These elements, which include names like neodymium, europium, and dysprosium, are prized for their magnetic, luminescent, and catalytic qualities. Their versatility makes them indispensable to a wide range of modern technologies. Take neodymium, for example. This element is a key ingredient in the creation of powerful permanent magnets, which are essential for the motors that drive electric vehicles and the generators inside wind turbines. Without neodymium, the push for clean, renewable energy would be far more difficult and expensive. Europium, on the other hand, is vital for producing the red phosphors that give vivid color to television screens and energy-efficient LED lights. Its unique properties allow for the creation of bright, reliable displays and lighting that we often take for granted in our daily lives. The sheer diversity of applications for rare earth elements highlights just how strategically important they have become. From the devices in our pockets to the infrastructure powering our cities, rare earths are woven into the fabric of modern life. But their significance goes far beyond consumer electronics. Rare earths are critical for national security, enabling advanced military communication systems, precision-guided weapons, and stealth technology. They are also at the heart of clean energy solutions and the automation revolution in manufacturing, making them essential for both economic growth and technological innovation. This heavy dependence on a relatively small group of elements has created significant vulnerabilities in the global supply chain. Many countries, especially those with limited domestic production, rely heavily on imports to meet their needs. This reliance can lead to supply disruptions, price volatility, and even geopolitical tensions as nations compete for access to these utterly essential resources. For decades, the United States and the European Union have relied heavily on imports for their rare earth needs. This dependence has become increasingly precarious, particularly as geopolitical tensions rise. The reliance on a single source for a critical resource can have significant economic and security implications. The United States, despite having some domestic reserves, has largely outsourced its rare earth production. This dependence on foreign sources has raised concerns about supply chain disruptions and potential price volatility. The European Union faces a similar predicament, with limited domestic production and a heavy reliance on imports. This vulnerability has prompted policymakers to rethink their strategies. Diversifying supply chains, investing in domestic production, and fostering international collaboration have become top priorities. The need to secure access to these critical elements has taken center stage in national security discussions and trade negotiations. China, with its vast reserves and highly developed processing infrastructure, has firmly established itself as the undisputed leader in the global rare earth industry. These rare earth elements, vital for everything from smartphones and electric vehicles to advanced military technology, are the backbone of modern innovation. Over the past few decades, China has invested heavily in mining, refining, and manufacturing capabilities, allowing it to control nearly 60 to 70 percent of the world's rare earth production. This dominance is not just about having the raw materials, it's about having the expertise, the technology, and the supply chains that make the entire industry run smoothly. This commanding position has given China significant leverage in the global market, and well, it has not hesitated to use this advantage as a powerful geopolitical tool. By controlling the flow of these essential materials, China can influence the strategies of multinational corporations and even the policies of entire nations. For example, when diplomatic tensions rise, China has the ability to restrict access to these critical resources, sending a clear message to the world about its influence and priorities. In recent years, China has tightened its grip on rare earth exports, imposing strict quotas and export restrictions that have sent shockwaves through the global economy. These measures have caused prices to spike, disrupted manufacturing timelines, and forced companies to scramble for alternative suppliers. The uncertainty created by these policies has made it clear just how dependent the world has become on a single source for these indispensable materials.
These actions have highlighted the significant risks of relying on a single country for such critical materials. As a result, governments and industries around the world are now urgently seeking alternative sources, investing in new mining projects, and developing recycling technologies to reduce their dependence on Chinese rare earths. Countries like Australia, the United States and Canada are ramping up efforts to explore and process their own rare earth deposits, but building a supply chain to rival China's is a monumental challenge that will take years, if not decades, to achieve. China's dominance in the rare earth industry is a complex issue with far-reaching economic, environmental and political dimensions. On one hand, the environmental impact of rare earth mining and processing is significant, and China has faced criticism for lax regulations and pollution. On the other hand, the economic benefits and strategic power that come with controlling such a vital resource are immense. Policymakers must balance the need for sustainable resource management with the realities of global competition and national security. While China has legitimate reasons to manage its resources sustainably and protect its environment, its actions have also raised serious concerns about fair trade practices and the use of rare earths as a bargaining chip in international disputes. The world is now watching closely, as the future of technology, industry, and even global diplomacy may hinge on how this rare earth power struggle unfolds. The coming years will be critical in determining whether the world can diversify its supply chains or remain at the mercy of a single dominant player. As the geopolitical landscape shifts, Canada has emerged as a potential alternative source of rare earth elements. With its vast natural resources, stable political environment, and commitment to responsible mining practices, Canada is well positioned to play a significant role in the global rare earth supply chain. Canada possesses significant rare earth deposits, particularly in the provinces of Saskatchewan, Ontario, and Quebec. These deposits, coupled with Canada's strong mining tradition and expertise, present a viable alternative to Chinese dominance. Canada's emergence as a key player in the rare earth industry is not just about economics, it's about geopolitics. A stable and reliable source of rare earths outside of China is crucial for reducing global dependence and mitigating supply chain risks. Canada's commitment to responsible mining practices also aligns with the growing demand for ethically sourced materials.